students let's start the exercise from the chapter 2 atmosphere questions i already have given now exercise first one the dash is the only planet that supports us which one that is the earth next is the dash is the most abundant gas constituting about the about 78 percent of the entire atmosphere 78 percent which one that is nitrogen nitrogen next one is a dash protects the earth from the ultraviolet um, radiation of the sun ozone Next is the stratosphere extend up to dash kilometer above the earth's surface, 50 kilometer. All the weather phenomena take place in the dash layer of the atmosphere. In which layer? That is the troposphere. First one is the uh, now matching troposphere which one it will be for troposphere coldest layer of the water vapor okay firstly I'm doing that exosphere will be geocorona that is a five number thermosphere the presence of the ion is a thermosphere phone number stratosphere is the ozone layer mesosphere is the coldest layer of the atmosphere is the mesosphere yes three number and troposphere is the water vapor next is the atmosphere acts as a uh, large filter that protect the earth from the harmful radiation of the sun first one is a true yes the atmosphere is a thinner near the earth surface that is a false how much we will go from the uh, surface the uh, atmosphere layer will be thinner not near the earth surface Nitrogen is the second most abundant gas in the air. No, that is false. Stratosphere is the lowest, dense, um, densest and the heaviest layer. That is also false. Ozone forms a protective shield against the extreme heat. No, false. Which of these gas is the essential for the respiration oxygen? Very easy. How much of the atmosphere mass is the concentrated within the first 32 km above the surface? 90%, 95%, 99%, 99%. Next is which gas is the significant contributor to the greenhouse effect? Significant contributor means carbon dioxide. Now is the next page. In which layer of the atmosphere oxygen found? That is troposphere. Which layer of the atmosphere is closest to the interplanetary space? Yes, that is the exosphere. Okay. So, this is the exercise of the chapter 2. I hope all of you have understood and uh, do the exercise in your book.